Hey everyone and welcome to the fifth part of the Flutter's Awesome Notes series. So in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate Firebase to your Flutter application. Although this is part of the Flutter's Awesome Notes video series, but if you haven't watched the previous videos, don't worry about this. If you're here just for integrating the Firebase to your Flutter application, then you're good to go. So to add Firebase, I will follow the official documentation from the Firebase website. So I'll go to a browser and type add Flutter Firebase and then go to the first link. And I will provide this link in the description section. And I choose this way instead of doing it myself because in the future, if something changes in the process of adding Firebase to a Flutter application, then this page will be updated. So the first tips are that you have some editor or ID and also some emulators or rail devices and also the Flutter installed. And then you have to sign into Firebase. So when you click on this, then if you don't have a Firebase account, you have to create it. And when you create this, you'll see something like this. Although with no projects, if it's your first time. So we'll leave it in here. And then the next step is to install the Firebase CLI. So I'll click on this link. And in here, if you're a Windows user, then you can use this button. And if you're on Mac OS or Linux, then you can use these two options. But for this video, I'll continue with Windows because I don't have access to other systems. So for Windows, we can use these two options, but the preferred way is using the NPM. So to install the NPM, we go to the NPM Windows. And once we're in here, so we come and we click on the download now button and then we find these assets so we'll click on the nvm setup.exe and it'll download the setup once it's downloaded i will open that and then move forward with the installation process once this is installed i'll just go back and as stated in here, we can use the NVM install and NVM use to install and then use the Node.js. So to do that, I'll open the CMD and then write NVM install and to install the latest version, we have to write latest. And this will download the Node.js to our machine. And once the installation is complete, now we can use NVM use latest. To use the latest node version and now we're using it so i'll close this and then also close this page and then once the node is installed to install the firebase cli we have to copy this command and go to the cmd again and run this command it'll install the firebase cli to our machine so now that the firebase cli is installed let me check if the Firebase command is working. Okay, it's working, so we can close the CMD and also close this page because we're done with Firebase CLI. And now we can go back to the documentation page and first we have to use the Firebase login command to log into the Firebase using the Firebase CLI. So to do that, I'll go to my project and then open the terminal and then paste the command and hit enter. Now this will want me to log into my Firebase account and in here, write Y and press enter. And now the sign in will open in the browser and you have to choose the account in which you have created the Firebase account previously. I'll choose mine and then continue and then allow. Now the login is successful. We can safely close this web page. And now we have to install the Flutter Fire CLI using this command. So I'll copy it and go to the project and run it now that this is installed we have to configure our application with firebase to do that we have to run the flutter fire configure command so i'll copy that and run it in the terminal of my project now it'll show me all the available firebase projects in my firebase account so from this option, you can integrate an existing Firebase project to your Flutter project or create a new Firebase project. What I'm going to do is create a new project. So I'll use the arrow keys to move to the option of create new project and then hit enter. And then I have to enter a project ID for my project. So I will enter the same name as of my app name. Awesome notes. 
and hit enter and this will try to create the Firebase project with the provided project ID. And now this is giving me error because there is already another project existing with ID awesome notes. So the IDs should be unique across all the, let's say, Firebase world. So to find a unique ID, what you are going to do is go to the Firebase console and then try to add a new project and just write the project name, for example, awesome notes and now in below they created a unique id for us so we'll click on this to copy it and then just cancel this process because we only needed the project id and come to our terminal again and then once again run the flutterfire configure command and then choose the create new project option and now i'll paste the project id that i copied before and hit enter now this will create me a Firebase project. Now it's time to select what platforms we want our project to support. By default, the Android, iOS, and web are selected, but you can select or deselect any of the platforms by using the arrow key and then pressing the space. For example, I don't want the web platform to support, so I'll come to the web using the arrow down key and then pressing the space and then hit enter. So it will first create an Android project and then a project for iOS. So now our Flutter application is connected to a Firebase project. And this process has created a new file called Firebase Options in our lib folder. The next thing that we have to do is to install the Firebase Core plugin. So I'll copy the command and run it in here. So this will remove these errors in the Firebase Options file. So now the Firebase Core plugin is added and these errors are gone. So once again, we have to run the Flutterfire configure command. This will try to update the Firebase options file with the new changes that we've made. And as stated in the documentation, you have to run the Flutterfire configure command each time if you're supporting a new platform, let's say web or Windows. And also if you add new products such as sign in with Google and Crash Analytics, real time database. So the new changes are reflected in the Firebase options file. And now from the list, we have to choose the project that we created before. And then let me uncheck the web because we are not supporting the web yet. And then hit enter again. Now when this is completed, what we have to do is to add this chunk of code in the main.dart. So you have to copy this and then go to the main.dart file and paste the code in here just before the run app. And first of all, we have to change the main function to an asynchronous function and also we have to import the firebase core library and also we have to import the firebase options file that was just generated before and let's change this from void to future of void and also don't forget to add widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized before this chunk of code and now just to run the application. So that's it for this video. This is how we add Firebase to our Flutter application. And in the next videos, we're going to add these two screens for registering and also logging the user into our application using the email and password, as well as the Google and Facebook authentication. So if you don't want to miss the upcoming videos, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification icon so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. So thanks for watching and see you soon. And until then, have a good time.